Soft tissue sarcomas are a type of cancer that begins in the soft tissues of the body. These are muscle, fat, blood vessels. There's more than 50 different types of soft tissue sarcomas, and many of these cancers disproportionately affect uh, pediatric patients, young kids. Survival of those with soft tissue sarcomas is really bad. Four out of 10 people who get a soft tissue sarcoma will die. And there's not a lot of effective treatments available to patients with the exception of radiation or chemotherapy. Our discovery of propranolol as a treatment against soft tissue sarcomas was a bit of serendipity and a bit of seeing things that were fairly obvious, but no one had put two and two together. Uh, my kids both had a harmless vascular growth called infantile hemangioma. And in 2008, a group in France found that the beta blocker propranolol shrunk these tumors. I was studying infantile hemangiomas at the time for obvious reasons, because my kids had them. And I just wondered if propranolol works against these harmless vascular growths, could it also work against lethal malignant tumors of which there are very, very few treatments for patients. After we published our first research paper on propranolol and angiosarcoma, I had a lot of calls from clinicians and patients in the U.S. and around the world every week. Uh, they wanted to know if propranolol would work for them because they were desperate and many of them were failing the best therapies medicine had to offer them. I worked with a doctor out of University of California, San Francisco. He partnered with me with a patient who had a facial angiosarcoma that covered nearly half of his face and really only had a couple of months to live. The patient was immediately put on propranolol and after six months of therapy, the tumor disappeared. My collaborators in France and India saw similar results in many, many angiosarcoma patients. These patients are now living 30 plus months out on propranolol. And based on the historically best treatments, they should have died two years ago.